Earlier this week, we told you about a new lawsuit that challenges Arkansas's ban on the sale of certain hemp products like Delta 8. Sponsor of the bill says it will protect kids, but the attorney behind the lawsuit says it goes way beyond the state's power. Ashley Godwin has more now on the legal battle over this new law. On July 31, he was just a farmer. On August 1st, this law made him a felon. Four companies are suing the state of Arkansas for a new law banning hemp. Their attorney says this goes beyond just smoke shops and employees, but also farmers who are making a living with the plants. I believe all of our clients support reasonable regulation um, of these substances. This law doesn't do that. The attorney argues this law oversteps federal boundaries in two ways. First, President Trump signed the Farm Bill in 2018, which sets national standards for what hemp is and how it's produced. Second, it violates the protections of interstate commerce across state lines with the product. That trucker, that employee faces criminal sanction uh, uh, for having uh, products that are now deemed to be illegal, despite what the federal law says. Back in March, we spoke to the sponsor of the bill, Senator Tyler Dees. He said this law aims to stop kids from getting a hold of products with THC in them. It's because of a, an accessibility issue where you can walk into a regular gas station and purchase this product as if you're purchasing Skittles or any other candy. We reached out to him about the lawsuit and he said, quote, I'm not surprised to see a lawsuit by those worried more about their profits than the protection of children and other consumers. We also reached out to Attorney General Tim Griffin about the lawsuit, and he said he supports the law and will vigorously defend it. I believe the entirety of the act needs to be en enjoined and set aside, and I think uh, the legislature needs to come back and, and, and come up with something that's workable, that treats hemp for what it is, as an agricultural commodity. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, 5 News. We'll of course be following any developments the legal battle over Delta 8 sales gives us. You can keep up to date with anything that happens in the courtroom on our free 5 News app.